Amen. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Uh, don't misbehave when we are young. You will misbehave when you are old. You will do vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, it's victory today. Chapter 12. Mm. Chapter 12, start from verse 18. Hebrews 12, verse 18. Yes, Lord. You have not come to a mountain that can be touched, mm. and that is burning with fire, to darkness, gloom, and storm, mm -hmm. to a trumpet blast, mm. or to such a voice speaking words that those listen. who heard. Listen, Sunday school, let's listen. Listen. Hallelujah. You yes. have. You have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire, uh. to darkness, gloom, and storm, yes. to a trumpet blast, mm. or to such a voice speaking words that those who heard, uh. who heard it, begged that no further word to be spoken to them, mm. because they could not bear what was commanded. Mm -hmm. Do you hear that? It's telling I'm us assume. we are not coming to the mountain that Israel was called unto. That consecrate yourself for three days and come up the mountain. But yet when they saw what was on the mountain, they were scared. Because they didn't have faith. You touch that mountain, you die. You climb that mountain, even an animal, if it can just touch, it dies. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It says we have not come to such kind of a mountain. Mm, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Continue. Even an animal, even an animal touches the mountain, mm. it must be stoned to death. Do you hear that? Even an animal, when it touches the mountain, it will be stoned into what? It must be stoned to death. Yeah, continue. The sight was so terrifying mm. that Moses that, that Moses said, I am trembling with fear. You hear that? Moses was scared. Now let's, time to, let's come to our day and age, to us. Uh -huh. But you have come to But my, you have come. To Mount Zion. Meaning what we read now is the past. But we now, what we have come to, it's a different mountain. Remember when we started, we were saying we are ascending the Mount, Mount what? Mount Carmel. Where Elijah summoned the whole Israel and the prophets of Baal. Hallelujah. And he said everyone must build an altar for his God. Put a bull on top of the altar. And then call your God. And then they, they called their God. But he never came. He started mocking them and saying, maybe cut yourself. Maybe do this and this. And they did that. Still he didn't come. Then Elijah called his God. Before he called him, he said, pour water. So that it may be even impossible for fire to just start up. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And they poured water. But then fire came down. Hmm? You must know water in the physical realm is an enemy of fire. Yes, continue. So now we have come to this mountain. That is why the very book of Hebrews it says, let us now approach the throne of God with what? Because the throne of, because the throne of God is where? It's on the mountain. What is the name of the mountain? Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. 
not the one in Pulukwan. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Continue. But you have come to Mount Zion. Yes, you have come to Mount what? Zion. This is the true mountain of God. Yeah. To the city of the living God. The city of the living God, Yeshua Knights. Yeshua Knights, do you hear that? To the city of the living Yeshua ministers, a city on a the light that can never the arena of the where liberty is. Yes. We have come to that mountain. The mountain of the Lord. The holy city of the Lord. What is this city called? Jerusalem. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What is this mountain called? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Continue. You have come to thousands upon thousands. Uh -uh. Of Finish it. To the city of the living God. To the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. The heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels mm. in joyful assembly. There's no way. It can be a city without angels. There's no way this place can be empty of angels. Wherever we go, we have angels surrounding us. It says to thousands and thousands. To what and what? Hmm? Read it again. You have come to thousands upon thousands. I'm telling you. When you entered here, you became in the presence of angels. Mm? You became in the presence of what? Thousands and thousands. The holy city of God. Called Jerusalem. Thousands and thousands. Of what? Of angels. Even now when I'm ministering, holy angels are assisting me. Because on my, on, my, on my own, I can't do it. So it's not just a city. That is why now the prophet comes and says, don't worry. Those who are with us are more than those who are against us. Who are those who are with us? These are angels. These are the heavenly hosts. These are the armies of heaven. They are with us everywhere. Every time, even on Friday when we were praying here, they were praying with us. You must know, even when we leave, we leave them here. Angels, they remain. They just love being in this place. Huh? 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 Yes. Uh, 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 I believe the, the city of Shanghuva have conquered it. You remember when they wanted to burn the tent? And then uh, when they wanted to, be, so Shangube wanted to burn our tent. So they called, they summoned witch doctors. Numerous witch doctors, not one. Lot of them. And when they summoned them to go, uh, to come and give them, I don't know, Nebayatisa or Bayeta. I don't know what they were coming to do. Uh, they were doing their rituals. And while they are busy doing them, Boom! their eyes, when they are open, in the spiritual realm, they see the tent surrounded by giants. They saw big giants around the tent. And then they said, hey, don't go there and burn. But that boy Himself. That's the language they understand. That's, That's how they speak. Anything they see in the spiritual realm, move or feel. Don't go there. You will, you will die. You go, you bend that tent. They are, we saw big giants with big heads, big skulls. <laughs> then they tend. They couldn't bend the tent. 
When I heard that, ah, angels. Yeah, angels. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. So that is what I'm telling you, even this place. If God wants to, even those who went, they were coming to steal. He can arrest them and we find them in the morning here. Sitting, not knowing, not, not knowing, or not being able to go. I can start with you now. I can arrest you and I say shalom. You hear what I'm saying? Huh? I can call angels to arrest you now. When I call angels, I'm not summoning them. They are just there. I'm just telling them, do your work now, assist me. I can command angels to bring that baby now. Hmm. Hmm. I will call the angels right now. Hallelujah. Mm. And the angels will come to you. Call the angels right now. Hallelujah. And the angels will come to you. Even those who are married. I can call the holy angel of the Lord. The messenger of God. That one is not here now. Remember, he's always at the, at the throne of the eh? father. When I call him, when he comes, all women who are married, when he leaves, They've conceived. By me. Very spiritual husband. He just came and said, Mary, the spirit will come upon you. He's not the one who makes you conceive, but he's the one who comes to the message. When he speaks, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You conceive. Are you hearing me, them cutties? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. But we have come to thousands. Read, read, read Hebrews 1, verse 6, and go down with it. Hebrews 1, verse 6. Mm. And again, mm. when God brings his firstborn into the world. When God brings what? Yes, he's called what? He's the firstborn. Jesus Christ is Jesus what? Christ. He's the firstborn. Yeah. Huh? He says, mm -hmm. let all God's angels worship let him. Let all God's angels worship him. Yeah. Huh? In speaking of the angels, he says, in speaking to the angels, he says, he makes his angels spirits. He makes his angels what? Spirits. Yeah. Huh? And his servants, flames of fire. And his servants, what? Flames of fire. Who are his servants? Us. Hallelujah. Who are his servants? Us, not me. Us. We are his servants. He makes his angels spirits. In another version, it will tell you that he makes his messengers messengers the word angel means messenger it means what it means every time an angel appears he comes with a package he, it, he comes with a message Angels, they don't just appear in churches. They don't just walk around in churches. But when they come, they bring what? A message. Yeah? Yeah? 
But about the sun, he says. About the sun, he says. Your throne, O God, uh, will yeah. last forever. Will last ever. forever. It endures forever. Yeah, so that is why when you read it here, it will tell you to angels, he has never said my son. Because why? Angels are ministering spirits. Assisting those who inherit salvation. Who are the inheritors of salvation? It is us. So go back to where we were. Hebrews 12. Hmm? Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus was praying. And when he was praying, angels came and ministered to him. Prayer, it attracts angels. The more you pray, the more you walk with heavenly beings. The more you pray, the more you walk with what? Huh? Huh? With heavenly beings. When I decline, I say my angels. These are not your angels. But it's my angels that I walk with. Touching you. But also you, you have your own angels. As long as you are in prayer. You see, now, as I'm sitting here, as I'm standing here, as I'm looking here, I don't see the way you see. I see you, but I also see heavenly beings. I see even demons. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Uh, you, you, like, like, uh, my son. Today, me and my wife were talking about, she was, to, she was telling me about it. Every day, my son, at night he wakes up. He sees things. Every day he will tell you, I was fighting the devil. I saw the devil. I saw every time when he sleeps, he's transported. His eyes are in the spiritual realm. Then my wife was like, ah, I remember, because when you tell me about your childhood, this is exactly what was happening with you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Huh? 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 Because he's still young, he doesn't understand how, uh, you know, the gift, when you have a gift, you don't know how to use it. But it's every day, not some day. It's not this day and then after this day. When you have that gift, you can't choose when to use it. You can't choose to what? To use it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Ah? You can't choose to do one. Ah. That is why I say many times when I visit the church, I don't know if they remember. I will always tell them. When I visit the church, I will come, sit down, and when I'm sitting, then suddenly I will start seeing smoke then I will know God is here. But no one sees the smoke. The, always the presence of God manifests to me as smoke. And their churches are visited. No smoke at all. That is why it's hard for me to attest that ah, God is still there. Some have seen smoke, but suddenly smoke is no longer there. They lost their smoke in the presence. Hmm? I do not know how it is to minister in a place that is dry. For months, there was a time when the church was closed. When I started going to God crying, when I was ministering there in the studio, and I wouldn't see the smoke, 
everything was dry and I was like, where's God? If I'm, sti so I'm so sitting here in front of cameras, ministering to people and there's no smoke. I'm not used to praying, to being like this. That was another sign for me, for God, I mean, God telling me, open the church. You don't want to open the church. I'm, I'm leaving, remain alone in the studio. You hear what I'm saying? So, we have not come to a place that is empty. Every time, even when you fellowship, the place must not be empty of heavenly beings. They need to be there at all times. We have come to the mountain of the Lord. The, the holy city. The heavenly Jerusalem. With thousands and thousands of angels. Even when they arrested Jesus, he was not alone. He was not alone. But he was with angels. That is why he told Peter that, ah, Peter, put that sword down. Ah, if I want, I can call trillions and trillions and they will come and fight for me. You know how did he demonstrate that? That he's not alone? He asked them, what are you looking for? Who are you looking for? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. What happened? Poof, fall down. Including Judas. Without choice. Without choice. The presence, the angels, they fight and surround us all the time. Wherever you go, you must never be scared because you know that you are not alone. Those who are with us are more than those who are against us. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sending an angel it doesn't go and you are left alone. This is the spirit. You send an angel here now. It goes It touches, it comes back. While it touches, it's there. It's here. When you apply for a job, you send an angel. It's in the spirit. So do not even be afraid to send your angels because you're afraid you'll be left alone. They can be there while they are here. Continue. You have come to thousands. Tell your neighbor, are you hearing what the Bible is saying? So are you hearing what the Bible is saying? Yeah. Huh? You have come to thousands upon thousands of yes. angels yes. in joyful assembly. Joyful assembly. Assembly means church. Church means assembly. A gathering of heavenly or spiritual people. You hear what I'm saying? So it says what? Read it again. You have come to thousands. Thousands upon thousands, upon thousands yes. of angels yes. in, joyful in joyful assembly to the church of the firstborn. To the church of what? The church of what? So it's not our church. It's not the church of anyone. But to the church of the firstborn. Who's the firstborn? Jesus Christ. Who's the firstborn? Jesus Christ. Yeah? To the church of the firstborn, uh, whose names are written in whose heaven. Whose names are written where? Am I in in heaven. Heaven. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Let's go to Colossians. Colossians one verse eighteen. Mm -hmm. Colossians one verse eighteen. Yes. And he is the head of the body. And he is the head of the. While we are ministering here, uh, I, I want people who will give and buy TVs or who will take their smart TVs and give, not any TV. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Yeah? My wife has been saying we need TVs now. 
So we need two TVs. We need one TV there and one TV where? Here. Hallelujah. Huh? But even when we minister here, you read the Bible on the TV. Hallelujah. You can already see we are going wireless. So as we are going wireless, we, we want TVs now. So that even when someone vomits here, you can see there. Like now, I wanted that baby to come today. But if I say, baby, come, there's no... Where are we going to see? People will be standing up there and when you will be there, you will just hear, where? Hallelujah. Uh, you must know, I, I don't just joke. Mm, verse 18. And he is the head of the body the church. Like even when we tell you about prophecies and you see fulfillment, we come and play them to you. Huh? Hallelujah. We do what we, we, we show you. Hallelujah. Mm. On Friday, during the day, I was in prayer. Then I, I was drawn into the presence. Then I saw myself healing a girl. I was excited. People, some people that you meet, they are destiny killers. I was sharing this with my wife. That when God first called me from a young age, I kept on dreaming and seeing visions of me healing people. Praying for people, they get healed, numerous. But this stopped. So this Friday, I, I dreamt myself a girl whose skull was open. Skull was open. You could see the brain. And then this girl was breathing for the last time. The brain was busy. I didn't know that the brain has a, a sort of it breathes. I, I thought this thing happens only when you are a virgin. Infant, you see when they, but now I saw the brain automatically doing this as if it's a heart. And then this girl was is there, and I took my hand, I, I slept that brain. When I brought my hand up, the skull was closed. The girl stood up. And everyone here, you in church, you were shouting. Woo! I said, these are the kind of things we are praying for. These are the kind of things we are praying for. You must know, my faith is big. Every day when I pray for you, I pray, I say, Father, I want to, like, for example, that lady there, I don't care what age, I want God, Father, the time I put my hand, this person must just stand up and walk. That's what I believe God for. Not child's play. And when headaches go, when headaches go, it means it's there. We just have to flame it up. People, they don't love to give testimony. You hear what I'm saying? You remember Ndebu came here. I didn't want to prophesy him. While at and I didn't want because the person who did what he did to him. Ah, if he can know, he's gonna be disappointed. That's <laughs> with the ball. I don't know if you you saw him when he was here. A big ball. And we, uh, I prayed, I prayed after praying. From he says the pain is gone. When he reaches home, the pain was too much. And I, I said, she contacted, he contacted my wife and I said, yeah, this is, it's coming out. There's no way the pain, 
that thing when it goes out that they put in when I was praying for him in the spiritual realm it was I saw a, a, a worm that is living in the lake so this worm was going to eat up and then the leg was going to be rotten the next thing he was going to lose his leg that condition no doctor would do anything so when I prayed for him here when I looked at it I saw I'm just trying to show you how the spiritual realm is I saw that 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 worm coming out then I saw a person I don't want to give details where the person was getting angry as the worm was going out. Then when it went out, and then I said, where's the pain? He said, the pain is gone. Then I, 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 the Holy Spirit said, this thing now, what is left is the poison. It must go out. And it's going to go out. So when he reaches home, the pain comes back. When he tells, on Monday, when he tells my wife, like, oh, it's the poison. The Holy Spirit is taking it out. God is still busy. Then he sent photos of what was coming out there. The only thing, clue I can give him is, is that that is why when he enters the workplace, it pains. Do you hear what I'm saying? The only clue I can give him, that is why when he enters the workplace, he pains. But if I can go further, he will know and point the person. So people, they don't like testifying. Now he's well. If I was that one, Elijah. I was going to say, God, let's open doors and then it be double now. I was being able to walk, being carried. Then after I'm going to testify a note. When the, she gets healing, we say, give a testimony now. But we thank God we are merciful. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you people who don't like testifying as if the glory belongs to you. And you don't testify as if it's I who heals you. It's not I can't do anything. It's God. And God wants to be glorified. God wants, when he heals someone, he wants everyone to know. The biggest mistake you can do is for God to do something for you and you keep quiet. Biggest mistake. Amen. Continue. Like those ones who are testifying about the prayer and fasting. That when we entered prayer and fasting, this happened. When? 23. You read verse 18. Uh -huh. And he is the head of the body. He is the head of what? The body. The church. And the firstborn. Yeah. Uh -huh. From among the dead. From among the dead. So, how is he a firstborn? When he was born out of Mary, he was not the firstborn. He was the lastborn. Do you know that? Eh? 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 I'm telling you now. When Jesus was born out of Mary, he was the lastborn. He was Zanele. It is Zanel, ask him. Was Zanel when they say, ah, it's enough. The girls, it's enough. But him, he was Zanel, as in it's enough with the Adams. He was the last born of the main, mankind after Adam. So that is why it says he is the firstborn from the dead, meaning he died. 
When he resurrected, he became the firstborn, no longer the lastborn. And when he was now the firstborn, when now he was what? When now he was what? The firstborn. We became his brothers and sisters. Read it in Romans 8. Let's hear what it says. Verse 29. Romans 8, verse 29. For those God foreknew, for those God foreknew, he also pre predestined, for those God foreknew, who are those who ones? Who you. Are yeah. Also predestined to be conformed uh. to the image of his son. Uh, to the image of what? His first son, yeah. That he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. So that he may be the firstborn among many brothers and what? And sisters. Who are those brothers and sisters? It is us. So he is our big brother. He is the firstborn. Hallelujah. Are you hearing it? You read it in the Revelation, it will tell you also that he is the firstborn among what? The dead. Meaning he's the first one to resurrect. So we also, we partake from the resurrected Christ more than the Jesus that was born. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We take after more on Jesus who's resurrected than the one who was born out of Mary. Because he's the first born from the dead. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Go back to, 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 to Hebrews. So now, what does this mean? As you go, it, it means the assembly can be of any other, but only for those who are brothers of Jesus Christ. Those who are predestined and chosen before the foundation. It says many are called, but a few are chosen. And you know what is it saying? Why is it saying like that? It doesn't mean this one is called, this they are called, and then only this one is chosen. It means Israel was called. But few were chosen. Everyone who believes is chosen. Because no one can believe without the Holy Spirit. So how do you know that you are chosen? It's when you start believing that Jesus is Lord. Because no one can believe unless the Holy Spirit reveals unto him. Clevens for Jesus. So we are that assembly. Our congregation it's not only of human beings. It constitutes of human beings and angels. And we fellowship together. We praise God together. We worship together. Now as I'm reading the word of God, they are reading the word of God with us. Repent for Jesus. Continue there in Hebrews. You have come to thousands upon thousands of yes. angels yes. in joyful assembly. Yes. To the church of the firstborn. The born, church of the firstborn, which is Jesus. Yeah. Whose names are written in heaven. Whose names? We, who's, which, the names of who? Our names are written where? Not in the book of life. This is not the book of life. You must know the difference. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your name may be written in the book of must be written in the book of life. For you to be born again, it means your name is written in the book of life. But it's possible that your name is not registered in heaven. When it says registered in heaven, it means in realms. Paul we know. Jesus we know. Who are you? Who are you? Meaning in the heavenly realms they are not registered. 
So your name must be registered in the heavenly realms. So when it says whose names are registered in heaven, it means this ones, they are not normal Christians. They move by power. They move with signs. They move with wonders. They move with miracles. So in heaven, they are known for performing power, for demonstrating power, performing signs and wonders. The question I have for you today, is your name registered? As we are gathered here, your name might be registered in the book of life, but yet you find in the heavenly realms it's not registered. When it's not registered, you can't cast any demon. Paul we know. Jesus we know. But who are you? Some of you, the realms are asking the very question. Who are you? Because demons defeat you. Because spirits, dominions, authorities, they defeat you. But when your name is registered, you are a performer of miracles. You are a performer of signs and wonders. Hear what I'm saying. Go, go to, to, to look. Go to look. Look, uh, look. Chapter 10. Started from verse 18. Mm. Luke 10, verse 18. Show me your signs and wonders. Where is your power? Where is your power? Where is what? Mm -hmm. 18. What does it say? He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Remember we were reading this? Yeah. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. But rejoice that your name are written in heaven. But rejoice that your names are written where? Not in the book of life. In the book of Revelation, it talks about the book of life. This is a book of those who are born again. Those who are inheriting the kingdom of God. But this one are those ones who are known in the realms. Every time they open their mouth, they disturb in the realms. Ah, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Every time they pray, there's disturbance in the realms. They are known in the realms. When they start saying our father, kingdoms, they start to shake. Demons, they start to be afraid. Why? Because their names are registered in the heavenlies. Go, go, go to Genesis. Hold your finger there. The Lord is taking me somewhere. The Lord is taking us somewhere. Mm. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor you need to hear this. Tell your neighbor you need to hear this. Come on, can I speak to someone here? Mm, verse 3. Genesis 1. <laughs> Come on, people. I thought I said it. Genesis 1, verse 3. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Mm. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. Mm. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And mm. it was so. God called the, vo the vault sky, and there was evening and there was morning, 
mm. the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered in one place and let dry ground appear. Mm. And it was so. Mm. God called the dry ground land and gathered the waters and he mm. called seas. Mm. And God saw that it was good. Mm. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, mm -hmm. seed bearing plants mm. and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it. According to, with seed in it, according to their various kinds. Mm. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according, their, according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lies in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years and let them be lies in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth mm. and it was so mm. god made two great lights mm. the great light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night go where he separated the water the water below and from the water above. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. God called the vault, the vault sky mm. and, and there was evening and there was morning, the second day. Mm. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let the dry ground appear and it was so god called the dry ground land and the and the gathered water you hear that seas. I read that verse six and god said let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water mm -hmm. so god made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. Mm. And it was so. Mm. God called the, vo the vault sky. Mm. And there was evening and there was morning. Yeah, now the read it in the message translation. That very verse 6. Someone assist quickly. You have it. Yeah, jump. You can. You got it. Yes. Okay. God spoke. Yes. Sky in the middle of the waters. Yes. Separate water from water. Yes. God made sky. Yes. He separated the water under the sky mm -hmm. from the water above the sky. Mm -hmm. And there it was. Mm. He named the sky the heavens. He named the sky what? He named the sky what? The heavens. So, what does this mean? We don't have one heaven. We have heavens. Feminines. So, when it says your name registered in the heavens, it's talking about you being known in all feminines, in all dimensions. Can I speak to someone here? When Jesus said, This demon cannot come out except by prayer and fasting, he was telling them, You need, when you go into prayer and fasting, it ascends you to certain dimensions heavens then when you enter in those heavens this demon can go out are you hearing what I'm saying are you hearing what I'm saying now what, what am I saying you can't cast a demon that is above you they stay in what these spirits they stay in what in dimensions. This is another dimension, the physical one. But we have the heavens where God doesn't dwell. 
We have heavens where God doesn't dwell. But it's where the spiritual realm is. And you must know in Ephesians 6, when it talks about dominions, authorities, and rulers, they don't dwell in the same area or dimension. These are dimension and ranks. So the, the demon that the disciples were trying to cast out, it couldn't go out because it was in the dimension above them. So they needed to fast, switch off the flesh, and ascend to the certain level of dimension. Go into another level of the heavenlies. You can't cast out the spirit that you're looking at it like this. Come out. You can cast out the spirit that you're saying, come out. So as long as you are under the dimension, in the dimension under, I mean, you can't cast out that demon. So you read the book of Acts. It tells you every time they were in prayer and fasting. They were ascending dimensions. They were going up and up with dimensions. You are not hearing what I'm saying. headaches, it tells you which kind of demons you are dealing with. Certain sickness, they tell you which demons you are dealing with. When we come now, you deal with death. You are in another dimension. And now, remember, it doesn't mean when you have raised the dead once, it means you are in that dimension. Because sometimes God gives you a taste of what is there. That is why he says, see, come and taste and see. Uh, you are not hearing what I'm saying. He says, come, taste and see. Taste and taste and watch. Taste and watch. How do you taste and see? When we eat food, don't we see first? But it says, taste and see. Meaning the minute you taste in such dimension, you start to see what is inside. So it's not continuous resurrection when you don't live in it. When you just tasted it only. Am I talking to someone here? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, okay. Uh, 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 just there, while you are there, we will go back to Hebrews. Read 2 Corinthians chapter 12. We know the scripture, but now is, is your name registered? Is your name registered? Ask your neighbor, is your name registered? Ask your neighbor, is your name registered? Mm -hmm. Chapter 12, verse 1. I must go on boasting. Although there is nothing to be gained, mm. I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. Mm. I know a man in Christ mm. who 14 years ago mm. was caught up at, to the third heaven. Mm. Where I know... He was caught up where? He was caught up where? He was caught up where? Some of you, you have never even experienced the first one. These dimensions, you can't enter them by grace. These dimensions, you enter them by shutting off the flesh. You are not hearing what I'm saying. As long as you are active in your flesh, you will never enter these dimensions. You will just see them, taste them. But after you will go back, even the tongues that we speak, they determine the dimension we are in. You are not hearing what I'm saying. We might be in the same assembly speaking in tongues, but yet speaking in different dimensions. The other ones, when they speak in tongues, they are in a certain level, dimension. But others, when they speak in tongues, they are in a certain dimension. Others, when they speak in tongues, they are in a certain dimension. All of us, we affect different kingdoms. We shake different kingdoms, different rulers. Some of you, you have never even fought dominions. Reading the scripture, knowing it, it doesn't mean you have taken those kingdoms. How do you take those kingdoms? When you pray and fast, when you switch off the body, when you shut off the flesh, 
you ascend to a place. You ascend to heavens. You move from earth. So Paul comes and says, I know a man who ascend. I love the, my, my mic. I like it the way it was before. Not how you have turned it now. I read it. I want it loud. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Do you want me to take you back to 14 years ago? Do you want me to take you back to 14 years ago? What happened 14 years ago to Paul? He was on his way to Damascus. And then he was hit by lightning. And when he was hit by lightning, let's go to it. Let's go to it. I can preach the message now as I'm preaching. And you hear me? Listen. The message that I'm preaching now, the message that is preached, hey, can I speak to someone? Come on. If you are here, raise your hand and say, I can hear you, men of God. Come on. I, I, I want to, 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 to reveal something that is hidden to you. You see, I'm ministering the message now, and all of you, you are listening to me, but you are hearing me in the de level of dimension you are in. So, not all of you, you are hearing me in the same way. Some of the people here, they are hearing me on earth. Some some people they've ascended to the first heaven. Some people now they are in the second heaven. Some people they are in the third heaven. That is why the message is powerful according to your level. Now, let me give you an advice what you do. When you are sitting down here listening to the message, you need to do something with your tongue. Because your tongue is where you ascend. It's the one that you ascend with. Your tongue is your transportation. While you listen to the message in your heart, with your tongue, you start speaking in tongues. Then you go to the level that the man of God is teaching the gospel in. You go to the heavenlies that he is in. The realm that he is in. Make a while I'm teaching you speak in tongues you are going to that level you are ascending to that level you hear what I'm teaching you you don't get me in an earthly manner so I can teach you the same thing but you hear me in different levels someone can go out and say this message was just normal but if you align your tongue and you start to put it in the spirit and you start talking in tongues you are transported you are going to the heavenlies you hear the message according to the level that I'm teaching in so Paul says I know a man who was caught up on the says I know a man 14 years ago. So what happened to him? When lightning hit him, the Bible says he went to Damascus and he was waiting to meet the prophet of God, Ananias. While he was waiting for three days, he was not eating. For three days, he was not doing anything. He was fasting and praying. Then suddenly, he ascended. First day, first heaven. Second day, second heaven. Third day, he went to the third heaven and he saw things that no man can explain. When his eyes, when Ananias prayed for him, it says scales fell down. When they fell down, those scales, they were removing what was an obstacle to see in the spiritual realm, not in the physical realm. When, when they fell down, now he was the custodian of the third heaven. He was the custodian of the third heaven. Every time when he writes his epistles, his letters, he's writing from the third heaven. But people are receiving him in a different way. They don't understand what he's saying. Some people, they want to kill him. Because when they read the scriptures, they think it's flesh and blood. But he says the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk. I'm not talking in my letters. I'm demonstrating power. He says, I'm demonstrating power. I'm showing you the third heaven. I'm showing you the kingdom where I'm not talking. Because he said in the third heaven, the things I saw, no man can utter, no tongue. For three days, he tasted. Then he saw, come taste and see. 
Ato Umboni. Where is your name registered? Read it in, in Acts chapter 19. Start from verse 11. Hmm. You can think Paul is talking, but he's demonstrating power. His weights were not normal. His weights were of power. His weights were of power. When he spoke, when he wrote these letters, this was power. That is why someone, when he reads his letters, he still sees men that can, can die. But when someone reads his letters, he knows there's immortality. He says, we are crying. We are groaning in this earthly tent because we don't want to be naked, but we want to be fed at loved. Paul is the first one who starts telling us about heavenly bodies. He says, hey, my brother and my sister, the age and everything has its own glory. He surpassed the glory of animals. He surpassed the glory of moons and suns. He surpassed the glory of water. And he went and saw the glory of Christ. He says, when you cry and groan and you cry, we want to be fed at loft. I'm looking. This is, this is another dimension. When he's talking about there's a glory for this, glory for this, you experience the glory of each and everything in its own dimension. Three days prayer and fasting. It unlocked doors. He ascended. I can imagine. I can, I, I can see Paul writing those letters. While he's writing, for a man of the spirit yeah, not everyone can hear him but only those who are spiritual so every any other person when they read the letters they thought it's Greek but those who are spiritual they saw a heavenly language things that no man can utter things that no no man can speak, but he can only demonstrate with power. Those words were power. They were not empty words. Read it, you will go back to Hebrews. You. Verse 11, study there. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. God did extraordinary. It's 19. Chapter 19, verse 11. Yeah. Huh? Acts God, chapter 19. God, Acts 19, chapter 11. Yes. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. Yes. So that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had that had that had touched him were taken to the sick. Uh. And their illness were, were cured, and the evil spirits left them. Mm. Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits. Mm tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were Hear possessed this. by demons. Ah, read it. Read it. Read it. That is why I'm saying some people now, they are receiving me in an earthly manner. Some they are receiving me in the first. Some they are receiving, come where I am. Come where I am. So that you can hear what is happening here. Listen to what it's saying. You will think that the sons of Skeva, they were empty. You will think that they never had power. But listen to what it's saying. Read it. What does it say? Verse 15. Is it verse 15? 13. 13. Read it. What does it say? Some Jews. Some Jews. Who went around driving out evil Who spirits. went around. But so but demons were going out. You are not hearing what I'm saying. It doesn't mean these people were failing to cast out demons. They were all along casting out demons. Demons were going out. They went around driving demons. Yeah, huh? Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits yes. tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus. They tried now to evoke. Now they are trying. Listen. They were casting out demons small, small. In small, small dimensions. But now when they involve the name of Jesus, when they involve Paul, they are coming, they are trying to grow themselves in the level that they are not in. They are trying to face demons that they know nothing about. Mm -hmm. 
tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were possessed by demons. Uh -huh. They would say, in the name of Jesus, who uh -huh. Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Uh. Seven sons of Sceva, uh. a Jewish chief priest, uh. were doing this. Yes. One day, the evil spirit answered them. Not, listen. Tell it. Meaning this time, they met a demon in another dimension now. One day, not the first time they did this. When they were doing this, demons were going out. When they were doing this, demons were going out. But one day, they met a dangerous demon. One day, they met demons which are not in their level, not in their dimension, that they've not entered in. What happened? One day, the evil spirit answered them. One day, an evil spirit answered them. Jesus, I know. Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know about. Paul, I know. He has been in this dimension. He has walked in this realm. He has walked in this realm. This kind. You can just take it out. Only by prayer and fasting. Only if you enter a certain dimension. Tell your neighbor, fasting takes you through dimensions. Speaking in tongues takes you through dimensions. You see, when you, when you speak in tongues and your belly is full, and your belly is full, and you speak in tongues, it's not the same when you speak in tongues and you're in fasting. When you speak in tongues, while your belly is full, it edifies your faith. But when you are in fasting and you speak in tongues, it transports you. You fly. You are ascending. You are no longer in church. You are no longer in the mountain. You are no longer in your room. You are no longer in your room. You are set. You are entering the heavenly places. Kingdoms are starting to shake. Rulers are starting to shake. They start to be afraid because something is happening in the spirit. Your body is switched off. Your flesh is off. Your spirit is aligned. It's not a matter of talk, but it's a matter of power. It's not a matter of talk, but it's a matter of power. It's not a matter of talk, but it's a matter of power. It's not a matter of talk, but it's a matter of what? Of power. My angels, take them where I am. Take them where I am. My angels, take them where I am. Bring them up. 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 It's a matter of ascending. Entering into kingdoms. We have come to the mountain. The assembly of God. Thousands and thousands of angels. Thousands and thousands of angels. Thousands and thousands of messengers. Thousands and thousands of archangels. We are sent. We go up. We go up. We are sent. We go up. We ascend. We go up. It's not a matter of talk. Where we are, it's power. Where we are, it's power. Where we are, it's power. We ascend. 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 Fly. Fly, 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 fly. Paka pa 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 jagata, jagata 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 jagata
It's the matter of power. We shake kingdoms. We dethrone rulers. We dethrone authorities. We bring them down. We subject them. We subject them. We subject them. Interpreter, can you interpret this? 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 His letters were written in prison, but he was not in the prison. They were written in the prison, but he was not in prison. He was in the heavenly spheres. He was there in the heavenly places. He was on the... You arrest the body, but not the spirit. You touch the body, but not the spirit. Where the spirit was. He saw it all. He saw it all. Paul we know. Jesus we know. Who are you? Because we don't know you in this heavenless. Ascend my daughter, ascend my son, ascend my daughter, ascend my son. Come where I am, come where I am, come where I am, come where I am, come where I am. Let us ascend. The custodians of heaven, I release you. Ascend, 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 ascend. Nada, pada, kada, raga, paga, jagada, haina ha, ya baya dagada, iba, ya riba hataka, reke de ya la hate, rokota, iba ataya, eleya naha, iba kaya, ya 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 ya, raje, eya hara. Hey! Hey! Who's that? Hey! Hey, you just have to come where I am. You just have to come where I am. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ripa, ha, ha, yele boya. You just have to come where I am. I send. Yeah. You just have to come. Where I am? To Mount Hamad. Ah, Mount, 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 Mount. It's a matter of the spirit. It's a matter of the spirit. It's a matter of the spirit. Ah, ah, ah. It's a matter of the spirit. It's a matter of the spirit. Enter with me. Even in the camera. Ah. Even in the camera. Even in the camera. Paul, we know. Jesus, we know. Today, I register your name in the heavenlies. You shall be the performer of signs and miracles. A performer of wonders. A performer of wonders. Power, let it rest on your hands. Power, let it rest on your hands. Yeah, I register your name in the heavenlies. The heavenlies shall know you. The heavenlies shall know you. Can you feel the electricity? Can you feel the electricity? It's the spirit transporting us. Can you feel the electricity?
I register your name. I register your name. I register your name in the heavenlies. I register your name in the heavenlies. Demons must know you. Authorities must know you. Rulers must know you. Dominions must know you. I register your name in the heavenlies. Katapa, kapa, ATK. Do not just sit down. Come on, ascend with me. Start opening your tongue and speak in those tongues. Right, kepe. Torita, I. Yeah, kepe. Torita, Tobaya. Raka, Pata. Kepe, kepe. Rodia, Kata. Lege, Nakata. Ascend. 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 Ah! I'm the transporter. I will take you to heavenly places. I will make you enter in heavenly places. I'm the transporter of the prophetic. I'm the transporter of power. I will take you where archangels are. I will take you where heavenly hosts are. I will take you where chariots are. I say. Oh, look, I, I'm taking her to the dimension of worship. Mm. Yahasa, Rakopo, Rekepe, Rakata, Yakehosa, Ripa, La Racheta, Rekepe, Lemaha. Speak in those tongues. 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 You can read the Bible on earth. You can read the Bible on earth. You can read the Bible on earth. You can read the the word is power. The word is power. The kingdom is power. Somebody say the kingdom is. Come and say power. The kingdom power. is. Power. The way it is. Power. The kingdom is. Power. The way it is. Power. The kingdom is. Power. The way it is. Power. The kingdom is. Power. Your tongue 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 is. Power. Let it take you to places.
Raise your hands up high. I register your name in the heavenly realms. Alive. Today, I transport you. You can't be lower than where your father is. So I take you where I am. I put you inside the realms. I put you inside the realms. I, I register your name up high. I Let the angels of God pull you by those hands you are raising and take you up let them pull you with those hands that you are raising and take you up your name shall be known in the realms that when you open your mouth and say our father kingdoms will start trembling they will start shaking because someone from the heavenlies is speaking rivers When I touch you, you go. Shaha. Rahata. Oh, Shaha. Ah. Ah. People are going. People are going.
it's no. manifesting, it's saying no. things that it wants to do to this no. lady here. Hey. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, she's been completely de delivered. Where the Son of God is, there is liberty indeed. The D1 says it is defeated right now. Reiterating that yes. it is yes. Yes. defeated. unclean poisonous substance is coming out of her mouth as a sign that the Lord is busy delivering her completely. Somebody shout for Jesus. Shout for Jesus. Shout for Jesus.
Shimas. I'm finishing the work that I spotted on Friday. She must throw away sentiments and gifts. It's a spirit of a boy in a girl. Not homosexual spirit, but the spirit of boyfriend, girlfriend. You hear what I'm saying? So not that this boy is a demon, but spirits. Remember, they can come in an image and possess, especially when something is not godly. That is why now I'm saying what? She must throw away what? Sentiments and gifts. Those things are altars, are covenants. She throws them away. She will have power to let go. She can't let go. She can't let go. You hear what I'm saying? It's not the emotions, it's the demons. She can't let go. So she must throw away sentiments and gift. Immediately she, actually, she can bring them here and we bend them. Immediately that, she will feel like a different person. Oh, I don't have hearts for this person. It's only a demon. Just advising you, some of you, you don't enter into a relationship when you can't see in the spiritual realm like that. Because you will enter into wrong things. You hear what I'm saying? Because you will enter where? In wrong things. Look, look, look at her. What's the name? You see, now you are supposed to, those who are there, you can't see what's happening. Uh, you need a TV to see what's happening here. Mm, those who are this side, do you see what's happening? Huh? Do you see what's happening? What's happening? She's what? Crying. She's crying. It's attachment. So now when I'm coming in, I'm binding the strong man, that demon. It manifests as the boy. It's the boyfriend. But the boyfriend, it's not that. Don't go and bend the boyfriend and say the boyfriend is a witch. The boyfriend, but demons are taking advantage because this is a relationship that is not godly. It's not what? So demons, they are doing what? Taking advantage to making sure as long as she's in this relationship, she's bound. So she's not free. She feels like this boy makes her happy. Do you know, uh, do you know about this mother? Uh, you don't know about this? No, I don't. Uh, you don't know about the boy? No, I, uh, the last one, I, make, I made them to break up. Uh. It wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. Yes. Uh. Yes, it wasn't nice. So after breakup, what does she say? She sometimes blames me, but now she's a bit better. She sometimes does what? She blames me. For what? For making them to break up. Uh, why? Because she says she loved him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Did you tell me this? No. Eh? No, Did you sit down with me and tell me this? No. Okay. So what's happening? She's even though they broke up, she's saying what? She blames me sometimes. Uh -huh. She still loves him. She still loves him? Yes. So on Friday, what did I say when I was sitting here on the Friday service? I said, I'm hearing a boy speaking there. This boy was complaining when I'm talking about altars that now he's exposed. His altars, his sentiments. You must go now to the bedroom. I'm coming as a spiritual person. You must go to her things now. Right there. And all those gifts, she brings them, we bend them. Immediately, those covenants will be broken. Langkuta le nabo jola. Eh? Eh? Hallelujah. <laughs> lady boyfriend, lady girlfriend. Not all of your relationships are, 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 are godly. Some of them, it's a mess. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. How the boy is not here. Yeah, now where is she? She's here. But the boy is manifesting. I'm busy teaching. While I'm busy teaching, saying I'm breaking altars, the boy is complaining. You know, you don't, if you are spiritually, maybe you saw what I saw. While I was busy teaching about altars breaking, the spirit, that spirit just stood up out. And it was making noise, but it was quiet in the room. Because I was hearing this and seeing this in the spiritual realm. That is why I said, there's another one this side who was sitting this side. A demon manifested there. You people didn't see anything. You see only a demon when it manifests in the body. So now while I was teaching, I saw I'm exposing the altars. So this one is complaining. This one is complaining. And the teaching, it's spiritual. It's the Holy Spirit speaking. It's not me. I'm just telling you this altar, what, what? I remember when I was young, what, 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 what? The Holy Spirit is the one speaking, making, talking to you. While he's talking to you, that spirit manifests. Hallelujah. You see now what's happening. Hallelujah. Uh. Your relationships are more than chatting. Some of you. Are more than what? You must join in the fasting. I know you are not in, so you must join in. Okay. Yeah. Like I can hear the food that you ate. It's talking to me. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I can go to all of you staff members and I start searching in the spirit. I will find things. Bagai bale bas kaftini ke ite ke ba khotla ba ntebella fela bagai bo Eh ashi Why na lesa tle to confirm men of God what you are saying it's true what happened What happened O ga icho mia hai a batla ba ne ba le ithuka stool You think when I'm talking in service and say I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this, you remember they were sitting together and I said what? So you must join in, eh? Join join in, in the in the fasting. This one she's a warrior in the spirit. That is why some of the things some of the things the devil is fighting because they know once this person does becomes aligned in the spirit it's gonna be dangerous it's gonna be dangerous you are a warrior in the spirit once they join in she's a warrior in the spirit i don't know if it runs in the family or what Never <laughs> Ha ha ha, 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 
God, they are criticizing in Nigeria. In his church, he's young like me. I know him. In the spirit, I've met him. I've prayed with him. I've prayed in the mountain while I'm praying. Then I'm taken. In the spirit, we were in the same place. Praying. If you can give him my name, I don't know his name. I know his name. He doesn't know my name. He knows my name. In the spirit, we have names. We know each other by those names. You take the physical name, we don't know each other. But we were together in the spirit. Straight to the spirit. So 
know things that can never be explained. I'm taking out cigarette. If you don't know what is happening in the spirit. When the body is ready. Spoken. The organs, the liver, it will be like there was never, never smoke. Generation, not with our generation, not in our time, not in our time, not with our generation, not in our time, not with our generation, not with our time. Sisters.
he was this side. I said, who came with him? Who knows the guy? The one who was, I prayed for him and I said, if he doesn't fellowship or what, he will be naughty. He's going to trouble people. Who came with him? You came with him. How related are you? I, now I'm praying for this one. I, he must come because I'm seeing a gang. You hear what I'm saying? I'm seeing a group of guys. Like now, 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 as I'm praying for this one. I just... Okay, she has a, he has a, a, a son with my sister. He has what? A son with my sister. A son with your sister? Yes. I, I, I want him to come. I see a group of men. I told him to come today. He said he was going to come. I don't know what happened. I see a group of men, son of a gang initiating him to something what i was saying last week about him being naughty traveling people it was blurry but now as i'm praying for this one it's like i'm taken straight to him tell him he must come sure. there's a tattoo in his body but not on the hand. There's a tattoo in his body. I am not talking. <laughs> you were agreeing. You were like, I just know the guy, his friend. Eh? I just know the guy, his eh? friend. His friend? Yeah, Tabu. Okay. No, I'm, I'm talking about the one last week. He was here last week. Yes, he was. I prayed for him. Yes. Is your sister here? My sister's not here. He has a tattoo, but not on, not the one on the hand. There's another tattoo in the body. It's hidden. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Oh. God have mercy on him. Oh, you know you also this one. I don't know him. <laughs> Talk, it's Kaftin, bye guy. Okay, I'm going to go to the Lord's Kaftin. Dijo. Dijo. I want Dijo more. I want also the sentiment. Okay, what is sentiment? I'm going to say, 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 Level lang, get on my rappel. Kung wana lola, get on my rappel. La don't wana. Sit there and watch the camera. Help even those who are watching. What happened? Believe me, you are not alone. I can take them out. We won't finish. They will come and sit here. Good morning and win today. Um, during the day I was cooking, so she called me and then we talked and she said she doesn't know what to eat after 7 p.m. prayer because she's tired of eating potatoes. So I was like, okay, I cook three different veggies. I cooked spinach, uh, mashed potato, and uh, carrot salad. So I asked her if I should come with the scarf tea. So she said, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, so the moment you, you, you were talking, uh, you were asking us if we know that food talks. So I was laughing and I said to her, the scarf tea in your bag is talking to Bishop. Did you hear what I said here? Yeah? There's a boy you can't let go of. Yes. Hmm. 
What's happening? What's happening? Tell us. Don't be, don't be shy. Tell us. I'm shy. <laughs> Jesus, you're blessed. Next level for Jesus. You must take sentiments, gifts, mm? Mm, yeah. and bring them. I want to bend them. I will. Mm. What did he give you? I forgot, but the only thing I remember is a pair of socks. He gave me those socks when I was in hospital. Mm. You can't let go. I can't. You love him too much. Yeah, I'm not sure about love, but... You must bring them, everything. With your mother, she must go through everything with you. Throw out your room and your things. Don't hide anything. I'm not gonna hide anything. Yeah, anything. No, you know why I'm, I'm, I'm bold enough to call you and say, come speak? It's because I can see your progress in the spirit. Mm. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of you. You are not the girl that in the first that they day. used to force to come to church. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can see your progress and I'm really proud. If if you know every time when I pray, I say, Father, I pray for this one. Mm -hmm. I pray. You people you don't know. I, when I'm proud of you, I mention you to say, Father, thank you. Keep her, keep them. Keep him, keep. <laughs> At that, th those days, if I called her to come like this, she was not gonna come back again. But now she's in love with the Lord. She's in love with Jesus. And Jesus now is completing her deliverance. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, we're not this bench. Well, we're not this bench. It's all it's all mark out. They they told you in confide, in secret. Well, now you are messing up. Well, well now. Yo, Tanisa. <laughs> Are you hearing this? I, I like it when it's like this. Young people, they say, Bona, I don't look at the girlfriend. They don't look at the massage. They must grow in the Lord and marry in the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I like it. I'm happy when I hear this. I'm happy. I'm happy. Go pain your head. All the brothers here are happy. Little boy, they are happy. They're like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we might be laughing. Live on our never deliver our side of our more pillar board. Bunch of us already make, give us already come here. Our catch and look at one of our new thing. You 
to, you know I can go deeper than that. Do you want me to go deep or just leave it? Eh? Go deep. What I can say? Have <laughs> mercy. I, I, what I can say? Go full in, and you will see how God will bless you. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh. Here, Thomas Fasting. Kim Moody, the Gary Copella, or a bedis friendship yarring. Then Nagi Rapidis. Recopele mudim arabon to her rea guy, cause Rizani from primar, Nere city chom. Then why Rico Badi chomin no? Oh, so Rizani from Kule. Let's have a look at her. Jesus. We bless the Lord. So go, go full, full committed, ne? Everything line by line, weight by weight. Ne? And you'll see God will bless you. Stand up, you're blessed. <laughs> and you who are married, especially to people who are not born again, when it's that time, don't say, I'm in fasting. The Bible says by mutual control, mutual concern. You hear what I'm saying? Submit, use wisdom, submit to your head. You hear what I'm saying? Use wisdom, submit to what? Hallelujah. Some, of hus hus some husbands are not strong enough. So use, remember, this is not evil. You are married. Hallelujah. I'm not talking to you guys who are, who are born again here. I'm not talking about you who are in fasting. I'm talking about the people who, they are married to people who are not born again or weak in spirit. Lest the devil does what? Hallelujah. I'm talking about those people. Uh, be, be in the spirit, use wisdom. Don't be arrogant and rhetoric and, no, I'm in prayer, I'm in prayer. And you disobey your head. You dishonor your head, you dishonor God. Hallelujah. Amen. Come this side. Let's come this side. Let's come also this side. Where's gift? Where's gift? Is he sober now? Where is he? Gift. No, while you are there, gift. After every prayer, take 15 minutes. Go down there. Down, down. There's a rock. I hope the Holy Spirit will lead you where I usually pray at. Go there. In, sit on that rock. Give yourself 15 minutes after every prayer and pray. Just 15 minutes. Just speak in tongues. Just close your eyes and switch off your phone and pray alone. Just for 15 minutes, constantly speak in tongues. That drug, Father, is it uh, the only one drug there? The Holy Spirit will lead you. Oh, amen. Yeah. Just go, it's somewhere where there's a pit. It's like it's... Okay. Yeah, there's a rock, a big I've rock. Been that there, is. Daddy. You've been there? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So, get on that rock. 15 minutes. She prakatus Not like the way we are praying here. Shakat. Just get there. Be intimate with the Holy Spirit. Shima knows all of rich kavada. Shima da kashkevedi alahasi. 15 minutes after every prayer. When we finish fasting, you will see. Amen. Most clever. I can show last two because it was clever. 
I'm just giving you an advice. Most clever. Most clever punto zonke. Mengsele, giabona. No ma ngasin ko nzo mengsele la pay. Giabona mengkulma na bant. Maranyatula. Angusis. Angkulu minginto le most clever ngayo kunchi. Angkulu minginto le most clever most clever ngayo pay. I'm going broad. You may. You know, you might come to me and you talk to me about something, but the Lord shows me something else that is irrelevant from what you were talking about. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? That's what when I was sitting down with her, I was seeing something different. I was like, Jesus, what's happening here? I listened to her. I advised her on only what she came about, but what I saw, it's waiting for her. You hear what I'm saying? Most clever, most clever, gonke. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Your wife. Your wife. Hmm. When it comes to issues of prayer, don't listen to her. Push her to pray. Where is she? Uh. Ne? I listen to my wife. You, you can listen to your wife, but not on all things. Ne? When it comes to this one of prayer, you are giving him trouble. Mm. You are giving him trouble. Mm. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, so don't listen to her in this one of prayer. She must listen to you. She must submit. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, you must submit in the issues of prayer. We are in prayer and fasting. Mm. Yeah, you are the body. Yeah? Yes, we <laughs> know. <laughs> He's the body.
today I'm just showing you about heavenlies. I'm praying for her. Good luck, my Ah. Well, come back to her. Come up, la good one. Strong. Good luck, my tapa. Good luck, Inge. My tapa. Come up, la. Swearing. Huh? The number one there, it's like it's not a swear word. And it's a swear. You are swearing. You are hearing what I'm saying. You're like, when you say that, what, what I'm hearing. Uh, I'm, busy. I'm just showing you hell. <laughs> you guys don't be scared. <laughs> These guys are scared. <laughs> These guys, they, they want to walk away. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who's the Baka Iba Nabahai? Etam. Etam. Lady Matapagi. Eh? Morohan. I require a narrative of Gibana. This is love. It is he who is a bastard cannot be corrected, cannot be rebuked, rebuked. But he who has a father, you hear what I'm saying? I'm praying for her. I'm hearing my tapa. Oh, 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 yeah, Tang. But let's go, Mike. We want to hear. Ask her. I spoke in the mic. I spoke in the mic. Answer in the mic. Okay, for sake. What did I say? Ah, ah! You guys clap hands for the Holy Spirit. Ah. Hallelujah. So I'm teaching some of you. I know it's not her alone. I'm teaching some of you also that do what? Don't. It's a swear word. It's not normal. It's not language. It's a swear word. It's a language that the Holy Spirit doesn't want. Why are you clapping hands for your mother? <laughs> Because she also swears sometimes. <laughs> and I, I also run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw what? I also run. So I'm clearing it now. I'm praying. The spirit that I'm praying to you about, the Holy Spirit, is saying this person, when I'm laying hands, I'm hearing this words. I'm hearing this words. I'm hearing this words. Why am I hearing this words? It's a life of a person. That's what the person does. So it's not her alone. That is why I said, <laughs> must I go deep with all of you? Do you allow me? Eh? <laughs> 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 yeah? Well, next week, when you have fixed yourself, <laughs> I'm just demonstrating to you what I was teaching about on Friday. On Friday, we were busy with the church. Now I'm busy with you. That is why what I saw on Friday, I said, no, we are not busy with individuals. It's about the church now. But now I'm dealing with some certain things alone. But you see what I'm hearing here? When I hear it from someone, I can't come and speak about the same thing. And some of you, let me tell you why you must be careful around men of God. Do you know after you had sex during the week when you come here and I pray for you, that is why some men of God, they fall into sin. Because they see. When they see, you find that they are emotions. They are not strong enough for what they see. They are aroused and what, what. When you are a man of God, some of it, that's why you need to train yourself in self-control. 
Because some of the things, they become as if it's pornography. Their spirit takes me, shoop, shoop, shows me. I'm there in that bedroom. I see you busy. And I'm praying for you. Why? Anything that is of the light. He's married. Let me make an example. He's married. What he does with his wife, it's in the light. Light can expose it. Light doesn't expose light. So I don't know what is it for them to be intimate because it's in marriage. I don't see that. The Holy Spirit doesn't show me. But when someone in darkness, who's doing this, who's not married, the Holy Spirit takes me. I see them being in the act. Why? It's because I'm the light, they are in darkness. Darkness is manifesting. It says when darkness, when light comes, darkness doesn't understand. And it flees away. So darkness manifests. Baba Mbalila, I'm not saying today. In other days, I would see this person stealing. You see what I'm saying? That's how I know what to pray for for you. To say, oh, let me pray for this person for this. Because I don't expose things. I don't like exposing things. Talking about things that are private, publicly. I don't like that. I like, uh, we cover. You hear what I'm saying? We cover, then I will, I will come, when I'm teaching here, I will teach you while you're sitting down, as if I don't know anything. I will teach you, and you who are sitting down there, don't, don't separate yourself from the message. When you hear it, oh, that is talking about me. The light has shown him what I'm going through. There was a time where I spoke about, I was teaching about sex before marriage is a sin. It was because every time I lay hands, it was here on my face. I'm not talking about the church outside, I'm talking about here. Every time when I was laying hands here, it was too much. And uh, some of them, I told them they must come. I advised them, I said, after later on, they were, when they were telling me this message was for us, I said, you, you come and you should teach the young and come and say you I was allocated prophetically in the message but it was not because I'm teaching I haven't seen I teach because the Lord will show me this is what the church is going through this is the problem there was too much immorality at that time the Lord was showing me too much of immorality when I pray for people I will see ah, what is happening here what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? So I had to clean out the church and come and teach. Not pointing you out. I taught. And people, those people, they know themselves. Some, the teaching changed them away. Some, they stayed and said, Shoof, we need to repent. We are blessed. Shoof. Time is gone. We have another service. What's happening with him? Mm. Mm, write prayer line. Next week, write prayer line. I'll pray for him. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So some, I will see this child, even when they are with their parent, I see this person stealing. I'm like, oh, I can solve the problem for them. And say, the money has been taken by this one or this one. But I'm in the spirit. I, Jesus saw many things that he never spoke about. Come, sir. You are blessed, ne? So bring those things. Uh, go, some of the things that you've forgotten about. Take all of them. I don't know what are those things. Even if it's a letter, even if it's one, bring them. Ne? Again, you have to feel it not. Go one of you blushes. But bring everything and I, I don't throw them away. Let me burn them. Ne? I will burn them and then God loves you. Yeah. 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 Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's a greeting. Hallelujah. Come. Ah. What? Mm. Are you good? What are you saying? It's a spiritual one. Mm. <laughs> it's a spiritual one. Come. Come. It's blessings. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> you see, you people love blessings. <laughs> you are blessed. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. Go, to, go talk to my bishop about it. You hear what I'm saying? Sile? Go talk to my wife about it. You hear what I'm saying? will give you finances. Did you hear what I said? Where's your husband? Come together. Where are they? Don't be angry when you don't have. Come. Huh? Mkadi, are you hearing what I'm saying? Nikita? Don't be, don't be angry when you don't have. The Lord will bless you with finances. Yeah. Are you receiving it the way she's receiving it? I'm receiving it. Come bring it back. Blessed viewers, as you are watching, you are blessed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon. You were, what I'm telling you, I'm not saying be afraid of me. You were free around me because you thought you were hiding. But still be free because where the Spirit of the Lord is liberty. What I'm saying, I'm bringing enlightenment to say that in these things, you must learn when you hear the word of God. I cover them in the, way, in the message. Other pastors, they expose you. They come and say, you, what, what? You, you, what, what? You, you are gambling. You, you, what, what? You, now I do what? I come with the message and cover you. And do what and teach you. And when you hear it, you know, you change. You hear what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You, so what must happen is the book of James. Tame your tongue. That's all. Yeah? Tame your tongue. You are a believer. God loves you. But it's a matter of your tongue. Something takes over. And then you find yourself saying whatever you are saying. Because you are angry. But now, tame your tongue. Read the book of James. It will help you. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. He, he, ha, ha. Don't go back. No, no matter how much you feel lonely. You hear what I'm saying? No matter how much you feel lonely, because when you feel lonely, you feel like going back. Don't go back. The Lord is with you. That's, that's not a voice from God. It's darkness trying to take you back. You must appreciate the Holy Spirit. Father, this one's going to appreciate you. Who, who do not appreciate your Holy Spirit? Please, Lord, can you tell me more about them? with me. 
You didn't start well. You didn't start well. So go well. I'm encouraging you. You didn't start well. Go well. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. The Holy Spirit is still with you. You didn't start well? Go well. You are blessed. <laughs> Appreciate the Holy Come Spirit. <laughs> and Joe. And Joe. Please help the babies. Electricity problem. I see electricity problem. Come, uh, that's your sister, eh? Come together. I see electricity problem. The problem about money. Mm. Pay the, the bill. Mm. It's a bill. It's a rain. Can't it's a bill. Yeah. Uh. You, you can't pay it. Yes. Uh. Sure. Come on, appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord Jesus Christ. Come, come with your statement. Come with your statement and go to my beautiful wife. You know her, Yes. Very beautiful. Yes. <laughs> like she's the. You don't have to look for her. Just look for the most beautiful person in this place. You'll know who she is. It must not stress you, ne? It must not stress you. Come with the statement to give it to my wife. Okay, yeah? The Holy Spirit knows. Okay, God knows. Thank you, Jesus. God knows. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for the Holy Spirit, guys. by example. Yeah. You are a leader lead by example. Yeah. Are you sure what I'm saying? Yeah. Lead by example. We don't lead by example here only. Even when we are at home. Let people follow your spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. They follow what? So what you do at home, that's the spirit they will follow. You are a leader. Okay. You hear me? Okay. You're blessed. Yesterday I was here and I was praying. And as I was praying, food cried to me. So there's a, there's a person or people who are eating. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> and you are at the best, best playground, like not playground, or environment. Come. But two more for more. Languja, I bet you both him. Give us edge. I'm joking, go there. But listen to me. You you know yourself. You know yourself. Mabane kinsi kapela mo. 
food was crying to me. I don't want to say which house. I already know which house because I was praying around it the whole night. So you, you know yourself. So some are serious in fasting, some are not serious. You are in the best environment. Some people are eating because they are colleagues, because of what, when you are surrounded. Holy land. Hallelujah. So, uh, okay, let me leave it. Come, if you are attacked by flu, come here and I pray for you. Come, if you are attacked by flu, stand there. Tabiso, go stand with them. Listen, get at home, at home, get, what do you call it? Uh, is it a fumigator or what? Something that changes the, there's a bacteria in the house. You hear what I'm saying? There's a bacteria in the house. It's going to eat up your lungs. It's coming like flu. That is what I'm calling these people. You are hearing what I'm saying? It's coming like flu. But it's a bacteria that is hanging there in the air. It's not demonic. It's not a demon. It's normal. It's sickness. Yeah, but this thing is going to attack the lungs. So you as a family, so get something like, what do you call it? Humidifier. Thank you. And now I'm talking about fumigating. Humidifier. Get something that will change because it's not a spiritual thing. It's just something that is attacking. You breathe it, then it goes to the lungs. You breathe it, you see, it's in the house. But it's not just in the house, it's in the area, in actual fact. That is why, that's how it came into the house. It's in the area. You hear what I'm saying? That's how I'm fine. Okay. What's wrong? Flu. 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 Get what, uh, maybe what's happening to you, it's what is happening to Tabi. So because when I was praying for him there, I saw things hanging in the air in his house. You see? So maybe really like, that's what is happening. Huh? I just saw this thing singing in there. That's how I saw it. And then they were breathing. It's going in and out. But this is out in the area. So maybe even with you, Leah and I, your mom. Come, come stand here. Bring my water. Come, come with your family. You're blessed. You're blessed. I'm just moving now, ne? we have another service here. Who's eating? Who's eating? Who's eating? <laughs> you are leaders, man. You are leaders. Don't eat. Blessed viewers, God loves you. Wherever you are, as I'm praying for everyone here, the Spirit is with you. So you are blessed. As I pray for these people, when I'm done, I say, Shalom, Superman. God loves you. Amen.
for three months. Since she was three months old. Since she was three months old. Open the mouth. Jesus name for Christ is go. Again. Everything in Jesus' name. Out of your system. You're blessed. I started early this year. Mm. Bring the water. Open. Show me your pins. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive healing. In the name of Jesus, I receive healing. Say in the name of Jesus, I'm healed. In the name of Jesus, I'm healed. With the living water. With the living water. No more heart-related failure. No more heart-related failure. No more swallowing hands and skin. No more swallowing hands and skin. No more heart failure. No more heart failure. No more eye infection. No more eye infection. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. You are healed. You'll come and testify. We miss your Tonga testimonies. <laughs> you are blessed. Blessed viewers, God is with you. Touch the screen now. If you are sick, whatever that is upon your body, I command it to leave you now. Touch the screen with your right hand. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that thing is out. You are healed. That blood is stopping now in Jesus' name. That stroke, I rebuke it now in Jesus' name. No more sickness, no more failure, no more disappointment. You are victorious by the blood of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Shalom, Superman. Bring your testimony. Send us your testimony. You are blessed. Amen. Shalom, you can stand up, hug your neighbor, tell them I love you, greet everyone. Tell them shalom. I, you guys.